Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about Test Closure Report, which is an another test deliverable that would be prepared while when we are closing the testing project. The test closure is a test deliverable which will be used to sign off the testing project. Before proceeding further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about test closure, what are the things we normally report in test closure report. Test closure is a document or a memo which will be prepared uh, at the end of the release by giving all the relevant information regarding the testing activity which we have performed throughout the release and we are going to give a report to the stakeholders where do we stand the given day against the exit criteria. I want to walk through the test closure template I am also going to clearly explain you what all the things you need to fill up in the test closure template that would help you to prepare yourself test memo or test closure whenever there is a requirement for you. The first section is where we will be you know, adding uh, the project ID or project name. Let's say the testing test project. Test project will be adding here and creation date when you are going to create an author who is the author. Author name you are going to update it here. And there will be another section called revision history where you will be giving the version revision history of this document so that any small update you are going to make you are going to create an another row so that all the information will be getting stored in this section so that you will also be commenting what are the things you are updating in this document. The next section is which is very important test summary overview where we are going to give every details every testing activity details and summary in a face wise manner if we, if you can see a uh, year uh, test summary is given for the execution for the unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing where we are going to talk about for every phase what is the number of test cases planned for execution what actually the number of tests really executed what is the test cases passed and what is the pass percentage what is the number of test cases got failed and what is the fail percentage across each level of testing every level we are going to give the detailed numbers here in this table and also we are going to clearly use this information to define the results for the exit criteria next section where we will be clearly calling out is defect data and analysis where we clearly call, call out the defect metrics the priority of the defects like critical high medium and low how many defects are open how many are closed how many still on hold how many are rejected and how many are outstanding uh, that would help the stakeholders to decide whether we need to make a go or no go call then we should also clearly detailing out because all the stakeholders will be more interested in terms of outstanding issues outstanding issue especially the stakeholders will be very much interested in the critical and eye defects so for the critical and eye defects we should clearly call that out what is the defect id and the defect description and severity and action plan to fixing this issue so that would help to give the clear indication to the stakeholders where do you stand in terms of case executions and defect outstanding and also you should give any change request uh, details if required especially this is required when uh, we are not in a position to meet the schedule then the last section would be exit criteria checklist so whatever the exit criteria we define as part of the test plan we will have to clearly put a table here and we will have to against each uh, criteria we will have to provide the information whether it is really met or not met if it is not met we should 
put a action plan why it has not been paid so basically this exit criteria is been uh, defined and agreed with all the stakeholders when you're creating the test plan against uh, those criteria we are going to sign off the testing project if everything is met if everything is a yes yes then uh, testing team will going to sign off otherwise appropriate information has to pass on to the stakeholders to make a appropriate call by taking the help of the other stakeholders relevant stakeholders for this project as well i hope you uh, understood uh, what is all about test closure how the test closure report look like what all the ingredients in this uh, test closure report so that you can prepare on your own the test closure memo or test closure report whenever there is a requirement for your project to provide a test closure report i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this video please click on like button if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care